Unmute that. Switch to there. That one viewer is probably me, but uh, well. Huh. Well, I wasn't aware that that happened. Uh, and of course, got to. Ch Why did it? And there we go. We'll see how long that lasts. Hello, Muffin. Hi, Mum. You're finally out of your room. You look terrible! Are you going out with that face on your... F that face on your face? Ugh! That look on your face? I don't know. Well, don't! You look so much cuter with a smile. <laughs> oh, that sound effect. That's more like it. Your friend Miriam... That, that's the voice she'll have. Your friend Miriam wanted to speak to you. She said she'd be outside of town. Why don't you go find her? Oh dear. Terrified out of my skin. Ah! Why, I'm glad you asked. I'm Happy Kid, the newest toy sensation. Latest and greatest from Mr. Baron. Proce produced at the factory of Smiles, the Happy Factory. Okay. Oddly terrified. Get a happy kid and you can have a friend just like me! You don't know happy until you know happy kid! Buy your happiness today at participating stores! Ah! Uh. Ah! Oh. Have a happy, happy day, friend! I have no idea why I chose that voice, but okay. Welcome to Beth's Diner. Open so, 24 hours a day. You want some grab? Uh, 
Go ahead to the to an empty seat and eat it. Okay, so I can't interact with that guy. Pet the doggy. Hi, doggy. It's a trip. I got it. No. My nose starts itching now. Wing. Uh. Well, hey now, Wanderer! It's been some time! What are you doing here? Hmm, I don't know. The only voice that is going to have any consistency is the Bard's and Miriam's. Look young and able. Eee! Want to work a shift in the factory today? Apparently I just instinctively know these people's names without them even saying them. Wait. A lot of fun characters come through here. Oh yeah. That astronomer from out of town's always here in the middle of the night. Like midnight till 5am. Always orders the same thing. Why? Who knows? Who cares? You want some grub? Um, so I just went in a loop. Oh, there's some stairs. Kismist outskirts. Um... sucks. It's too cold and full of smog. And that stupid factory is always running. Nobody understands. Oh, I wasn't expecting him to be called Winston. And there's a weird gnome type character. And we have the gift house. I need to set something up for that. Hey! Welcome to, like, the gift house! We have, like, all the greatest toys for sale here! Including Happy Kid, the most popular toy ever! Produced right here in the factory! Woo! Take Happy Kid home with you today! And put a smile on your family's face, or whatever! 
Well, that's meant to be a... <laughs> well, okay. Um... Block Tower Pub. We're gonna end up with some Shin Megami Tensei shit here. I like crud. I hate this friggin' head. My daily prison. That's what it is. So stuffy. All day I'm sweating in this stupid thing. Don't smell it if you value your life. Well, ain't you just a little sweetheart? Something to drink on? Like, juice? No. Oh, my muscles are ripping from a long factory day. It's that good ache. Hard work to harden a man. I don't know what the accent that's meant to be. Where is what the f what the smeg is going on? Well, look at you! It is finally done with all your, your moping. No. Oh, what brings you out here? Think you might be ready to meet the next overseer? There's an overseer here? Uh, yeah. You're standing right ne at the nexus point. Oh. So we just need the overseer song? I already figured that out. I got a lot done while you were being busy being useless. Oh. It's the lullaby your mum used to sing to you. <laughs> I already know that song. Yeah, total plot twist, I know. So I just have to sing it. That's what I'm saying. Ready when you are. didn't work. Ah, I was afraid of this happening. The nexus point is blocked. It's all these disgusting clouds in the sky. Guess I wasn't useful after all. Don't be like this right now! This smog is definitely coming from the factory. We have to find a way to shut it down. Oh, come on. Stop looking at me like that. Seeing you like this is making me mad. I, for one, am not going to... <clears throat> I, for one, am not going to sit around while the hero prances around killing overseers. So get back in there and help me figure out how to shut down the factory. Let's see if there's anything this way. Oh, 
I've no idea if I'm going the right way, but... It's not stopping me from going this way, so... I think it's invigorating to move around early in the day. What do you think, Wanderer? I know a special place in the forest past the telescope. If you're there right when the sun rises at 7 a.m., well, maybe I won't, maybe I won't say. You should discover it for yourself. found me. Drawn in by my sorrowful music, were you? It's no show. I play from the ho heart. I play for a city, its heart replaced with machinery. Cold as the snow that falls upon it. And for love unrequited. I cannot bear to face her. But I have my feelings in this letter. Please deliver it to her. She stands in front of the factory every day, from 11.30 a.m. to 6.30 p.m. I know because I can't take my eyes off her. And I don't even know her name. So did anyone catch Oh Thanks for the follow, Gal. Uh I completely forgot the times he said there. Hello. How you doing? a strip or something. Um. Oh, nice to meet you. cold outside, isn't it? Uh, 
I'm Zadarf here. You can feel the sadness in the air. But me, I'm just chilling. I keep trying... Yeah, it was 6.30 to 11.30. You get it? Chilling? Because of its cold. You must be really down, Wanderer. To work a shift in the factory today. I am now very concerned that music. Well, you can't. You need free hands to work here. So drop that trash before you come back. What do you want? Uh, well, I have this letter for a girl standing here at this time. So it's for me? I guess so. What is this? This is... <laughs> oh, we've got to, uh, to blush. Gross! Oh, I've got an answer, all right. Take this back to him. And don't read it. So... So that was inevitable. gonna get somebody killed a letter for you from her yeah this is amazing what she's agreed to meet me oh wait she also said don't tell the bard that's definitely me alas 
Already I have broken a promise. But what is a love that doesn't know second chances? Anne. Every moment without her is pain. I await our meeting with continued sadness. I, I guess... We shall wait to see. Though slightly less sadness than before she agreed to meet me. God. Morrissey could learn a thing or two from him about moping. Okay, so I've got to wait. Oi. Oh, Evelyn! Just doing my nightly sweeps! It's late nighters, I've got a special one day. You ever get a chance to meet the astronomer? She's a bad stoner from midnight to 5 a.m. every night. Never talked to her myself, but did not give her a knowing nod when we pass. So apparently, I have no idea what what voices I'm giving any of these characters. It just. I once was friends with the Baron. He left his life behind when the factory grew. He must be very old now. I didn't even think about the voice I was giving him and apparently... Want to work your night shift in the factory today? Oh, goody! Come right this way! Here at this factory, we make happy, kid! It's the happiest kid of all, and everyone's favorite toy. You could say we're like a big happy family! <laughs> Doing his voice is gonna kill me. Eh, I'm so excited. You'll have a great time working here. I just know it. Just a bit farther now. This isn't where I find out I'm going to be thrown in a furnace or something, is it? Here we are. Isn't it wonderful? Modern machinery working in perfect harmony! It fills me with such joy! Well, let me show you what your job is. First, take a piece of coal from this pile. Second, throw it into the furnace. And repeat. Can you remember that? Okay, make us proud. Uh, oh, did not mean to do that. Uh. Let's see. Um.
I do not know what I'm meant to do here. Uh, also, I am going to turn the volume down because that is getting very loud. There we go. Uh, da, 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 but what do I That's it Your shift is done Now let's see how you did Oh the price On the price screen This work is terrible! It just won't do at all! But don't worry, keep coming back! We'll show you how to be a happy worker! I'll give you a level for free, see? Level up! Okay. Come back tomorrow! Is this going to be a case of surreptitiously siphoning off the coal? to do. Oh. Didn't mean to do that. Sorry, I can't talk right now. I'm starving. I must be at the diner right away. Hmm. Hello. I haven't seen you around town before. Allow me to introduce myself. I'm Ilara, the astronomer. I've been observing some interesting celestial activity. The stars, one by one, they're going out. Unfortunately, with the factory's smog output, I can't see flapping whizbats in the sky anymore. Flapping whizbats? Okay. Part of my language. So, I can't continue my res research on the that phenomenon. Du -du 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 -du. Instead, I've taken to watching the town, plotting subterfuge. I can see you don't have much to say, so I'll just keep talking. I figured out how one could shut down the factory. I just need a cohort. I'm impressed. Nobody's taken me up on this yet. We need people on the inside to help us. We'll have to recruit them from the people on of this town. Specifically, people who are awake during the day, but unemployed. I need your help to find... Oh! Oh! <laughs> I... quite possibly. <laughs> I need your help to find them since I live nocturnally. If we gather three people, 
such people, we could infiltrate the factory and use this diner as a nightly meeting spot. Good luck. Alright, so we need to find the unemployed. Wait, you. remember you from the gift shop. I hate it here, but it's a job, I guess. Alright, so not her. <laughs> it's closed. You want to overthrow the factory? I thought this question might come someday. Let me say this. The factory may be an evil place, but the Baron is not an evil man. At least, not when I knew him. It was always his dream to build this empire. And I cannot stand against the dream of a friend. You want to overthrow the factory? What? Do you even know what you're saying? The factory is everything here. Kismas would be nothing without it. Be careful where you say stuff like that. Um, I don't know. Ask Mo, ask Mopey McMo, Mopey McMoperson. I'm guessing. Hey, you don't have a job. Do you want to help overthrow the factory? Nah, this isn't my pace. But thanks for thinking of me. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> hey, want to help overthrow the factory, maybe? Yes. They have meetings in the diner every night. I will be there. Huh, that was easy. Oh! Pff. Of course there'd be a shortcut. Ugh. Factory here determines the schedule of everything. The flow of people in and out during the day and night. It's the lifeblood of this city. <sighs> Can't talk to him. You want to overthrow the factory? Whoa, 
I definitely don't love it. But overthrowing an entire factory? That sounds like a lot. I'd rather not rock the boat. to work a shift in the factory today oh goody come right this way And I'm still holding this coal. Turn for that. Shift is done! Now let's see how you did on the prize screen! This work is terrible! It just won't do it all! But don't worry, keep coming back! We'll show you how to be a happy worker! I'll even give you a level for free, see? The little engine that cold. Ugh. That, that's a reach. Come back tomorrow! Um, anyway. Uh, I will be right back. I'm finding myself... I realised I should have eaten before stream, so I'm just going to get something before I start eating the laptop. So... In the meantime... switched that screen and oh. and I will be right back
And we're back. And we can stop that. And... And get back to things. Alright. 
What? Maybe ask mum if she wants to be here. <laughs> as far as I'm aware, she's unemployed. You want to help overthrow the factory? Oh my, what a question. So I'm quite busy with the mail, as you can see. Sorry to stamp out your dreams. What's with these puns? I do not want to take my punishment. I tried to let her down e let her you down easy. That's not even a good pun. <laughs> yeah, that just. Ugh. Hey, Mum, you want to help overthrow the factory? <laughs> that sounds like fun, but your mama is too tired for that kind of action. Those days are behind me, Muffin. You'll have to find some other friends to help you. Good luck. Come home to rest, that's a splendid idea. You should always make time to relax, Muffin. Your mama misses you already. seen that doggy that wanders around town. He's all alone, just like me. I try to pet her every night at 9.30pm. Right in front of the clock tower pub. But she won't let me. Even a lonely dog won't be my friend. What do I do to make her like me? God, imagine being that needy over a dog. Ow! Anything? I met an astronomer from here. She wants to shut down the factory too. Perfect! So what do I blast? Huh? She's a scientist, right? So she knows where to hit to knock out the whole system. What do I blast? Ladies and gentlemen, we have the D&D &D stereotypical wizard. We aren't blasting anything. Ow! Oh. You're gonna get sad people from around town and mess it up from inside. Oh, okay. I like my plan better, but I guess we'll do yours instead. Well, let me know if you want to hear rumours from around town or something. Not like I have anything else to do. <laughs> Wait, hang on. Wanted three people. We've all. She. Surely she should be our second.
Hey, you want to help overthrow the factory? Do I look crazy to you? Don't involve me in whatever this is. I've got a diner to run. But good luck. I don't suppose you want to overthrow the factory, do you? I mean, that could be a yes. Do you want to overthrow the factory? Oh, yes! I wish. But I need this job. No matter how much I hate it, it's all I got. You want to overthrow the factory? No, my muscles deny you. There would be nothing left without the factory here. I intend to work there. Till I become the Baron someday. Ah! You want to overthrow the factory? What? This is crazy talk. Factory is only way of life. And I have family to worry about now. I cannot do this thing you ask. There's nothing in the world for me. Mm. Oh, hello there. I'm the street sweeper, John. Oh, God. <laughs> so I've got to give up. I'm the street sweep, don't you know? Their equivalent of a meat cute, I guess.
there's like this big push to sell happy kid toys right now but i don't think anyone wants happy kid in fact i think everyone is sick to death of happy kid especially me Factory owns like this whole city. So everyone's life revolves around the factory. And the factory just makes Happy Kid. So it's like all this city does is make Happy Kid. It sucks. I mm. sorry. Can't talk right now. I need to get back to my research, but if you want to talk, find me in the diner between midnight and 5 a.m. now, Wanderer. You did good finding me here. I was waiting for you to usher you into the next level of dance. That's right. It's time to discover a new move. You already know this one, Wanderer. I'm just gonna help you find it. Got a new dance! Beautiful dance, Wanderer. Carry it with you on your journey. Show the world the dance that lives inside you. Finally, being able to discard that coal. Happy friend! That's how I'm feeling. It's your own happy kid and you can feel it too. There's that whiny dude who's always crying and wandering around. Something about him rubs me the wrong way. There have to be better options than that, right? I'm in charge of making sure everyone gets their mail. Rain or shine, there's no way I'll miss it. I 
would never let her that happen. Stop using letter like that! Cause I'm no flake! Okay, I'll chill out with the puns. Please! I have a theory. Go to the diner and get. That's all I've got. You go in a lot of circles, a lot of mental circles work in this job. Stay in the same tools, say the, say the same people to the same thing. Same thing to the same people. Ugh. You want some grub? Go ahead to an empty seat and eat it. Let's see if this works. <laughs> you seen that stray dog around town? It's outside here every morning for people to feed it. You want some grub? Weirdos in here early in the morning. Like, plotting something? Are you one of them?
Okay. And... Hey! That plate! I think the dog likes it. Hand it over. Please. I honestly didn't think that was going to work. We are friends now. Ah! I forgot what this felt like. Cool. Also, you want to help me shut down the factory? You mean the factory that ruined this whole town? And took all the jobs? So that I had no choice but to make happy kid? Or be alone forever? Yeah, I think that one. Yes, I will help you! We meet at the diner every night. Uh, da, da, da. Out of the a group that meets here every night. Ain't gonna lie, you are a very s suspicious bunch. Don't bother me none, though. Devised a name for our little group of comrades, the astronomers. They see above the trappings of this machine city to a factory free future. Factory must be taken down for the good of everyone. Just require one more recruit. I may be able to provide some intelligence on who to look for, if you like. Yes, please tell me I need some direction! To be honest, I'm not sure who else in this city may be swayed. You know anybody who has no job? Factory used to just be a small toy shop, but it grew under the hands of its vicious owner, the Baron. Its growth changed the landscape of this place radically. <laughs> Never been part of a club before. I'm trying to play it cool so that nobody hates me. People of this city must be freed of the factory. We, the astronomers, can see the path to that destiny. Hmm. Hi, doggy. It was him. Happy Kid was invented by the Baron who runs the factory. He must be a really weird dude. <laughs> A 
Need help finding people to shut down the factory? Just one more. Ah. You're on with your own with this one. Can't think of anyone. Everyone in this lousy tunnel. What about you? What? No. Your friend has been here all day. Not that I mind the company, but I think something has upset her. Come on, Miriam. What? Why can't you help us? Why me? Because you're the only one left. Yeah, real flattering. Glad to be your last resort. You know, this used to be my adventure. Just me and Grandma Sappy. But ever since you showed up, somehow I never get to do anything anymore. Oh. Hey there, um, we are playing Wonder Song. Um, I. All the um, previous parts are going to be uploaded to the. Um, probably going to be uploaded to the YouTube, but I do have a um, starting soon screen that actually gives a uh, lineup. But basically, we're trying to save the world from kind of being scrubbed clean um and in doing so we're trying to find the earth song haven't encountered michael jackson yet though uh, somehow i never get to do anything anymore even though i'm the one with the magic powers how do you think that feels? She probably thinks I'm useless. Oh, and it's important to note here. Um, <laughs> uh, it, it's an interesting exercise. I have been having to make sure I've got drink ready and available. Um... Uh, what's intriguing about this is the antagonist is actually the prophesized hero because what they're doing is going around killing the overseers who will give you the parts of the earth song um the way that you circumvent that is that you can talk to ghosts She trusted me so little, she asked you to help me. And then you basically proved her right. How do you think that feels? I, well, I think I know how that feels. Like when I found out someone else was the hero, it made me feel so pointless. I don't belong on an adventure. Yeah, except you're obviously useful. You sing us through every problem. You're obviously useful. You can fly and you always know what to do next. Somehow, hearing that from you doesn't make me feel better at all. Me neither. But that's why we got to do this. Together. We gotta prove that we aren't useless. We can't do it if we don't try. Okay, fine. I'll help. This time, I'll see you at the nighttime me diner meeting. Come home to rest? That's a splendid idea. Uh. Trying to shut down the factory, Muffin? Oh, what your, would your father think? Ah. 
Ah, you've done it. We have a suitable number of recruits for our subterfuge. Yes, soon the factory will fall, and the city shall be free from the shackles of industry. <laughs> so, all we need to do now is take up jobs in the factory. We have to destroy it from within, or at least disrupt its basic order. If we take up positions on the factory floor, we can work together to do that. I'm excited! It will be the dawn of a new glorious day. Comrades, let's join together and lead this city into the light of a factory free world. Yeah, haha! <laughs> that may be going a bit far, but I appreciate the enthusiasm. Going more Doc Brown as I voice that character. The astronomer seemed so smart. I didn't think we could actually shut down the factory, but meeting her be made me believe it. So this is the secret meeting, huh? How are these bozos gonna shut down the factory? These people are enslaved to machinery. To machinery instead of by. Yeah. We'll stop the factory and establish a new order. That is a bit more than what I had in mind. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> I... I don't know what it was, I just automatically veered into giving her the Terry Jones voice. <sighs> Wing. 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 <laughs> I, I did initially start veering into the voice with the mum, but I was sort of like, wait, I'm already using that for Miriam. What to work a ship in the factory today? Oh, goody! Come right this way! <clears throat> I'm hoping I don't have to voice that guy any longer. It's, ac it's actually more of a strain on my throat than Miriam's voice. Good luck in there. You, we've all got your back. Ever since you showed up, my life's gotten so much better. You gave us direction, a sense of purpose. For this, you have my thanks. Eh, <laughs> thanks! Now we descend into the belly of the beast and claim the city back from the clutches of this dark machinery. God, I'm gonna end up having to start playing Proto Men. At least I could if Twitch rules and all that. Yeah, what he said!
Okay. So the way to completely mess with this place is So just disrupt it completely by turning end by making everyone play their musical instruments. That's a method, I guess. Excuse me, you rapscallion! You've caused quite the disruption. Mr. Baron will want a word with you. right along to his office. <laughs> Mr. Baron, it's just up the stairs. <laughs> you must be so excited. disrupted my factory I'm very disappointed in you when we allow someone to work here we are making them part of our family little oh, crumbs uh.
There we go. Why would you let this family down? Because it want you to shut it down. Shut down the factory. Yes. How could you even suggest that? Ever since I started this business, I've worked tirelessly to bring joy to people. And Happy Kid is my greatest work. It's the best toy. It brings smiles to everyone. Why would you want to take that away from the world? You hate joy. If you think Happy Kid brings joy, then you don't know what joy is! Everyone in this city is hurt by the factory. It's big and noisy and smelly. Nobody even likes Happy Kid. It is just a toy. But our lives are ruined making it. It brings no joy at all. Oh. It's done. Oh, was he just sitting rather uncomfortably on a switch or something? Ah! I shut down the factory. Just like that? All I wanted was to bring joy to people. I thought Happy Kid was finally the answer. But I can see it is not. Perhaps in my absence the world changed. Or I did, but whatever the reason, if my factory isn't doing its job anymore, I have to reconsider its purpose. All of you, leave the way you came. I have a lot to think about. Still kind of smells out here. But hey, you did it. Factory's finally shut down. <laughs> I was actually about to say that, gal. <laughs> I totally believed in you and stuff. And I totally believed in you, Miriam. Okay. I'll be waiting outside of town. When you're ready to go to see the overseer, come meet me. Look, I have a friend now. <laughs> I'm still thinking of a name for her. Oh. Hmm. What name to give her? Kind of amused by one of the options there. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, that's the option that I'm amused by. <laughs> Just a shame it's not a cat instead of a dog. <laughs> I like the sound of that. Okay, that's a sound. That's a sound design choice I'm not a fan of. Being able to see the ticking clock. Being able to hear the ticking clock, even. Seeing it, that's...
There we go. The nexus point is called the annual lights. <laughs> okay. They're nice, right? Now hurry up and sing so we can meet the overseer. You want to leave with me? Yes. Um, but aren't you... I mean, aren't you going to miss the sad roof guy? He liked you? No. <laughs> This time, I'm going to stand right here next to you. It's your ride into the spirit world. What's it usually like in there anyway? One time I went was after Queen Chaos died. So it was all dark and empty. Usually it's all magical and full of puzzles. Ah, well, perfect. This time I'll help you out. I can probably blow us through that stuff instantly. Well, okay. Interfaced. Um, hello, Miriam. He's not here. I enjoy ex getting the person who's not terribly great at platformers to do precision platforming. Okay. It is kind of like that. I'm not going to deny. Uh... I'm going to be here for a while. <laughs> oh, suck my mivonks.
everything is lava except for the very top of those. Ah, oh, finally. Oh, Christ. Um... I've been finding more and more as I've pl been playing through Hugh, it, they do share a lot of the same sort of uh, design sensibilities. Um, I do, I need to look up if uh, there's any shit, if the developers are the same, because this is a team of three people, so... that feeling of not being sure whether you can trust if that's just something in the background or if it's something that will wipe you out. I don't know if I'm doing the right thing here, but that was... Ah, yeah, I was. Okay, so I want that to... I don't know what I'm meant to be doing here. <laughs>
I... I'm... Well, it's important to note, when I say the whole, um, no backseat gaming, that's for giving outright spoilers. I'm okay with hints. Oh! I... I think I see it. Yeah. Oh. Okay, that is really cruel. I think I know what I'm meant to do here as well. Let's not get crushed. Don't get crushed by the giant gear. No. Um. I don't know what the smeg are meant to do here. Because I can't go up there, because it... I'll get mashed. Because apparently I'm a pigeon, and Dick Dastardly is going mash him, smash him, trash him, grab him. even think of that. <laughs> I was just going for Stop the Pigeon with Dick Dastardly and Muttley. No. Can't go that way. I'm gonna... Right. That's not it.
Yeah, that, the thing about this game is, is it gets very tricksy about that sort of thing. Like, you'll have, you'll be on the right track, but for whatever reason, it'll be, it'll be slightly wrong. Case in point. And this is where the game decides to get super trippy. Alright. Kentucky Fried Smeg. <sighs> there we go. in mind but uh That's not it. Um. I. Let's see.
I... I don't think there is. Um... No. Hmm. Oh. So you you really have to be right on the edge. As oh god. I am not a fan of that design choice. One, two. One, two. One, two. One, two. This is a horrible one.
I don't see how you're meant to do this one. Because that... At this rate, Audrey has killed the Overseer about 10 times. <laughs> yeah. Um, I feel like there is something I'm missing here, aside from... Because I... I don't see a way to actually... Yeah, that bit I'm, I'm able to recognise, but it's just getting... I don't... It'd be so much easier if I could at least grab onto the ledge. I mean, is it saying to jump onto? the block or just jump off the, the block. <laughs> and I am I am going to turn down the volume again because that is actually getting
Nah. It can't be a running jump. That's a good point, maybe. Might be onto something there, gal. And this. Ah! There we go! Yep, you were onto it. There we go! Yeah! Okay, maybe I don't want it like that. to get past ah oh, that's how I get past that one This, this is the bit that is especially going to be like you, whereas... Okay. I really have to... I really have to wonder now if this was done by the same people as Hugh because of that sort of thing. This one I can be a bit more patient with. Ah! 
just that little bit too far. Okay, I'm... Oh, smack off! I think I might have to use the keypad for this, or the numpad, whatever. Yeah, this... This is much easier with the... Getting the timing on that one. There we go. Okay. Right, so we know...
Eh, uh, joy of joys. Of course I'd end up with a spam bot. Um, and I have no idea how to deal with that. Um, Ah. There we go. There we go. Thank, thanks for that, gal. Uh, still getting used to all this sort of thing. Let's get back to it. Ah. This is kind of reminding me of one of the levels that um, recently I recently played through of uh, Portal. Well, specifically the co-op of Portal. Um, it was the... It was the bit where we were having to go through the whole maze of um, squashing... Um, spiked pads Oh, smeg off.
this level is a big meany face. Oh, come on! This is getting goddamn ridiculous. It's like, oh, you thought you were done with that? Surprise! Unless you... I can only... glitch through that <laughs> oh. We're finally at the Overseers. I think. And once again, we're in the final level of Undertale. Hello. Are you here to see Her Highness Queen Order? Yep. Is she here? Well, of course. 
She's just dead in the throne room. Oh, right. Then I'll just go on ahead. Why you get just in the tank in there? You have an appointment? Um, no. Hmm. Well, that isn't going to work. We'll have to schedule one. Oh no. I have to ask you a few questions. What's the purpose of your visit? I need to learn the art song. I, I'm sorry, it's not one of the options. Is your purpose personal or for business? Well, it's kind of, kind of a bit of both because I I want the world to survive. All my stuff is there. Okay. How big is your party? No, sorry, I have not. So should I put you down as one? Okay, two people. I can't I just go see her? Well, that's against the rules here, bucko. We're almost done. How do you take your tea? <laughs> Now, do I answer how I think this character would, or how I personally would? <laughs> also, that's something that I've always been curious about, is the whole cream in coffee and all that sort of thing, because I'm just used to, over here in England, we have milk with the coffee. So is that just a uh, colloquialism and the cream is just another to um, in instead of saying milk or is it actually something else instead of milk? Um, don't like tea? <laughs> it's just impossible. Oh, you've got some anarchy in the UK here. Uh, Jews. Ooh, tea with cream and sugar. Okay, that's all the questions. <laughs> oh, great. Can I go and see her now? Not yet. You need to wait in line. In line. Yes. Where's the line? It's here. Now wait. I have to wonder if the creators are Discworld fans. <laughs> Old music. <laughs> Oh, it's Supermarket Muzak. <laughs> you know, that is enough. <laughs> A little 
truly will not let you see her until you stop singing. Now, it's worked previously where I can annoy them into making, into doing what I want. So I wonder if that. Hey, no singing. Wait quietly. Excuse me, I wasn't kidding. You're not seeing. <laughs> Hello, that is enough. I need. Oh, we're back round. So it's a waiting game. <sighs> I guess I'll eat some of my chocolate penguin. It's your time to see her now. Follow me. What's going on here? We're heading to... In order. Why aren't you seated at your turn? We... We have a visitor. Yeah, and you are completely out of place. See for yourself, darling! <laughs> oh, my goodness. What is he doing here? It is too improper. So, you're an overseer? Yes! Huh. You seem so normal. All the other overseers were like magical animals. Humans are animals, darling! Oh, yeah, I guess. You know, at this precise moment, I'm supposed to be having my tea. Little Order has such a way of getting himself distracted. One moment, please. Come to my castle. The hero came by mine to kill me, and I kind of wasn't feeling it. So you ran away? I guess that's a way to put what I did. You could also put it as I decided to get out of the castle a bit. Come visit an old pal. Isn't this nice? How are you doing? No! This is completely out of line for an overseer. We have a duty, Dream King! Yeah, yeah, I know. We're all old and corrupted, turning into horrible monsters. Our time to go, yada yada. 
but I really don't want to die. Even if it is our job, I don't think I can do it. So, what am I supposed to do? You do what is right! Hello, boys. And Bard. Looks like I'm finally- I finally found you, Dream King. Thought you could get away from me. You just delivered me a twofer instead. Now wait! Why? Why are you doing this? Just let the Overseers live. The world doesn't have to end. Don't be ridiculous. If we let them live, we'll enter an age of darkness. Nightmare and Earth type stuff. You can run around singing stupid songs all you want, but someone has to take charge and save us. And that someone is me. What was that? Ah! I can't believe I was the last one to make it here. You say you just saved the Dream King's life, Miriam. Why are you both getting in my way? The Overseers are not on your side. I'm the hero, literally chosen by Ia. Okay. Okay. You want it that way? You got it. Stay back, Billy! Your Highness. Mr. Dream King, did you really give up on fighting the hero? Do I look like I want to? No, but so maybe now it's time for you to teach me the Earth Song? Oh man, you really don't get it. When overseers give up their song, we're giving up the pure part of ourselves. It speeds up the process of becoming a monster. Basically, it's just another way for me to die. But if you do, the world will survive. Sure, with one tiny problem. This hero might be a lunatic, but she was picked by Ia, and her killing me is part of the plan. Whereas you are nobody, what's the point of throwing away my life to entrust the Earth Song? which has never been sung to you. This is cyclical logic, because if it's never been sung, it's never been attempted, and if it's never been attempted, we don't know if it's got a chance of working. I already have two pieces of the song, and if your choice is between letting the world end or saving it, you have to pick saving, even if it's just a maybe. Or I can pick option C, survive, don't get killed by any heroes, or sacrifice myself for any bards. I think that is my choice. you after I catch my breath. Uh, forget about it. You losers wasted enough of my time. The Dream King already got away. I hope you're proud of yourselves. But when he goes dark and starts making problems, don't come crawling back to me. Oh, Miriam, you stood up to her. Pfft, she's not so tough. Only because you're tough as nails. I'm glad you came, Miriam. I wouldn't have made it without you. Let's get the song piece.
Well, that was different. <laughs> Twixt two kingdoms. I was thinking about what the hero said. Are the overseers really evil? Evil? I don't know. I hate her guts, so whatever she wants, it's bad. Remember, she's just following the rules. The same rules that say she's the hero. And all the rules say the planet is supposed to die. So if we're going to save it, we have to break the rules. The Earth Song is a pretty big mystery to me and Grandma. We don't know what happened to in past universes. Like, did anyone ever try to get the pieces before? Does it even work? Heck if I know. But we have to try. Yeah, that's what Grandma said. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Hold on to hope, Miriam. I like your Grandma. Me too. You miss her? Doesn't matter. We're getting close now. I'm going to go down. <sighs> I'm tired. This looks like a good place to rest. It looks creepy. I'm tired. We're resting here. Having at world's end. Nice and toasty in here. Aren't you glad we came in? Is, is that a flying rabbit? <laughs> um, hi. We want to stay here. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I suppose in a way it kind of is. Ah, uh, well, well, you can't. All the rooms are taken, except for one, and that one is haunted. Oh, really? Normally, I'd be completely kidding. <laughs> but right now, I'm not. Hey, Billy, can't you sing to ghosts or whatever? Yeah, I can. Really? Normally, we'd be completely kidding. Except we never are, because we're an actual walking joke! Well, if you're willing to brave it. It's the very last door upstairs. Just be careful. It's a mean ghost. all the names for that innkeeper to have. Uh, so we've got a flying rabbit. No. So we've got a flying rabbit, a heron, and some sort of Half cat, half lizard. I would laugh it if it had turned out to be Millie.
Oh, it's locked. <laughs> I guess she forgot to give me the key. I'll just go back for it. If we end up with some Silent Hill shenanigans going on, I... Uh... We've got some Silent Hill shenanigans going on here. Because um, if you're unfamiliar, uh, the player, the PT, so playable trailer, there's this one sequence which just has you going round and around and around. Bill, we're falling pretty far. Who are you going to call? Billy the Bard. Stranger. Uh, Miriam? Miriam? I'm awake! I'm awake! Sheesh. The spirit. Is it really gone? Yep. Maybe we were wrong, all wrong about you. We thought you were from over the border. Huh? You must really be a stranger to these parts, hey? We sure are. 
Well, let me make things simple for you. Around here, there are two big kingdoms. Rule, that's in the east, and Chandish in the west. We've been at war for generations, and this voice is killing me. I've really got to switch. Why? A great many reasons, Traveller. Their assaults on us are never ending. Even this very forest. It once was lush with trees and flowers, but the Chandish burned it down. They have no regard for nature. It we're in no man's land on the border here. So we always gotta keep watch for spies. That ghost you chased off, she was Chandish too. She gave me a message for the King of Rule. A message for our King from Chandish? That can't be any good. What's the message? I don't know. But she said it would end the war. I can feel it waiting in me. I think we should deliver it. Why does this crap always happen to us? Huh? I said great. Let's go deliver this ghost message to the king. So you could say it's a ghost writer. I appreciate the favour you did for me and the inn stranger. So I won't stop you. But I will say, be careful with a message like that. It's probably hard to understand because you ain't from here. But anything from Chandish, we've learned not to trust. What? She seemed so nice. I mean, she was all haunty and scary. And she attacked me with the rainbow ghost balls. That is a line I just had to say. Rainbow ghost balls. But after that, she was nice. I'm sure it's fine. Right, let's see. Um... Well, up, up and away. Uh, uh, what? Let's fly. No. No? I'm tired. I slept on a floor. Barely. You try carrying you for a couple of days. See how you feel about doing it another day after that. You're walking. Um, we shall see. A lot of the time I'm just giving voices based on the feeling that um, the image gives me. Wow. That's a pretty big wall. Is that just to keep out people from other kingdoms? Seems kind of excessive. But they must be serious about it. You probably shouldn't just go around it. You might get in trouble. Wonder if there's someone who we can talk to. What should we do? Holes down! Miriam! That's against the law, I'm pretty sure. I told you. We're going to have to break a few rules, right? We don't have time to worry about this crap. Now, come on. I mean, you knew that she wanted to blast. She wanted to blast something. 
So it was inevitable. Hey, have you noticed how quiet it is? There's no animals or birds here. I, I mean, just from the experience of when I've been running D&D, &D, that is a concerning statement because I usually use that as a way to tell the players something's messed up here. Whoa. What happened here? It looks like a monster attack. Hmm. Maybe it's nice. Like the ones in Delphi. Yeah, probably not. Let's be careful around here. It looked like the wall was t there to protect the forest since the other side got so wrecked. But this side got pretty wrecked too. They said the other kingdom burned it down, right? This definitely doesn't look like burning. There's something weird going on out here. And of course, being a witch, she... <laughs> and of course, being a witch, she'd know everything about burning. Hey! That looks like a thing! Is it thing one or thing two? Ah. Wow! It's on your face! <laughs> I know! Do something! didn't like that. I was so scared. But I guess it wasn't so bad. Yeah, it's just one little guy. Wonder where he came from. Um... Uh, the... What the smeg is that? We should run. We should sing. What? It works, right? Wait a minute. Is that actually what Spirit Home is? We have to get through the forest of, to the king. So we have to try. I mean, if that's the case, that means that Spiritome is based on a traditional uh, Japanese monster that, uh, well, looks quite a bit different, but, um, oh. It's like a giant skeleton made up of the spirits of hundreds of dead. You know what? Chill. Knock yourself out! Okie dokie.
The music is actually starting to make me think of Hitchhiker's Guide. Bunch of chumps. Let's keep going before they come back. <laughs> oh, stay back from the wall and identify yourselves. Actually, no. What's the witch doing here in the forest? What? They're delivering a message for the king. What's wrong with us being here, dude? You're a witch. Yeah, I... So what? There are dangerous times. Hold on a moment. What's going on, man? There's a witch at the gate. Whoa, what? Here in the forest? Let me see. They say they have a message for the king. Oh, really? They seem okay to me. Well, they are obviously spies. I don't know, man. They look like refugees to me. We can't just leave them um, with the monsters, can we? I think we can. No way. Let them in, man. Ain't no time to be uncouth. All right, I'm letting you in. But come through quickly. Stay back! Sheesh! Thing, man! You gotta tell your kin to cool it. What's everyone still here? Are you or are you not from Jandesh? No. You sure? But what about the witch? What? No! Seriously, what is your problem? It's because it's because witches come from Jandesh, man. Kings, she has no idea what's going on here. You gotta cool it. Actually, you need to round out the voice a bit. This is no serious. This is seriously not cool, dude. Okay, okay, sure. Is your animal gonna attack us again? No. We're cool. 
Okay, okay, great. You two are totally welcome here. Okay. We got a lot of going on with the monsters and all. So it's all a bit crazy right now. But you really don't seem like you're dangerous. We're all gonna take it easy now. Okay? You're both lucky if is in charge here. If you are innocent, I apologize for my aggression. But I have my mother to worry about as well. I can't be too careful these days. So, I'll be keeping an eye on you. I'm sorry my son gave you trouble. Ignore him, he's a fool. You and your friend it seem perfectly fine to me. So here and ping. Hey there, Wayf Wayfarer. Sorry I didn't introduce myself. I'm Phil. I'm kind of the boss around here. Sorry about Ping. This monster situation got us all wound up. Leaving here is dangerous. We've been trapped here for days now. You know how it is. I gotta ask though, how did you get through the woods to here? I sang to the monsters. Whoa, no kidding. You two fitted right in then. We play music here every night. Keeps the spirits up. You should join us tonight, Wayfarer. We can put all this ugly behind us. We'll be setting up the fire soon. Just let me know when you're ready. Is that meant to be a dog or a bear? Um, okay, a dog. A big dog. <clears throat> oh, I need a different voice again. I think it is. <laughs> and so many of us left here now. <laughs> you think you, the king even knows about us stuck here? I bet he doesn't. Or he doesn't care. This place sucks. I mean, I miss Hrit, Christian so much. Now I'm stuck here with nobody but Grandpa and our kin. Sigh. Okay. I don't trust these people to be cool. Maybe because they attacked us with a bird. Maybe. Right. Um. I'm not sure. Hmm. That's... <laughs> oh, that's cute. I wanna get the fu- Wanna- mm. Wanna get the fire going? Yes. There's a few things that have that sort of thing. Um, every so often you'll walk by flowers that will also change to the colour you sung. 
<laughs> You've all been trapped here. Yeah, pretty much. We're here to turn the trees into lumber. It's nice work living amongst the forest. But then monsters show up, showed up, and the forest got dangerous. We used to have a lot more folks working in the middle and all. Oh gosh, did they all... Oh, no, they didn't die. At least I don't think so. They left in a big group to Huishan with the hero. She was here? Oh yeah. Saved our lives, but... We have elderly and kids and kin. Folks who couldn't do the intense journey with her. So, I few, so a few of us stayed back to keep him safe. We're hoping the king sends back help soon. It's a lot on our minds, Wayfarer. That's why we need some, we need nice campfire songs. Don't want to get the fire going. Yes, I'm. I'm so ready too. <laughs> Beautiful night, hey. In honor of our new fr wayfaring friends, I'm going going to tell a tale, an old tale, about a wayfarer and a witch. They say it happened here in this very forest. And they say if you listen real close, you can hear their old spirits singing along to it too. Why not start this off with a sea wayfarer? Okay, this is supremely cute. really cute <laughs> little song thanks very much wayfarer we've been singing it for ger generations but it's kind of sad too why did the witch curse the wayfarer they were in love hmm you know I never really thought about it <laughs> as I always figured the witch was some kind of trickster who snatched up the wayfarer's soul. No! Why? Maybe it's just a stupid made-up soul. 
Who cares why? Well, not totally made up. Like I said, it happened in these woods. And the Wayfarer was a girl from... Now I'm unsure how... I suppose it would be something like Rue. And the Wayfarer was a girl from Rue. And then her soul got snatched. Well, that's how the story goes. Sounds pretty made up to me. Or oh, what? Do you think witches just go around snatching souls? Hey. Holy crap, do you actually? No, well, we aren't used to seeing witches. It's hard to know sometimes. They're cruel folk, witches. What are you talking about? Where do you think the forest monsters come from? They're soldiers of the... of Chandesh. Magically created and sent here to attack us and destroy our precious forest. Huh. That's a good point. I didn't know that. They're the reason that we've been trapped here. But why? <laughs> That's the scariest thing about Shandesh. We don't know why. But from their actions, it's clear they hate us. They have no regard for nature or our way of life. Tell us this, witch. You said you had a message for the king. Who's it from? What's the message? It's a secret. <laughs> it is kind of hypnotic, I'm not gonna lie. But it's something that could end the war. Hmm. You already think so, Wayfarer? Mm-hmm. I'm sorry, but that's just not possible. Well, here is hoping. I think it's starting to get on in time. How about we call it for the eve? Eh, I think I've had enough of this. Okay. Guess you'll be on your way then, huh? Sorry if stuff got a little heavy last night. I want here... <clears throat> I want here to be as loving as I can be. We got enough bad going on outside. Tell the king we said hey. And if you find anyone who came out of here, tell them we're okay too. Yeah? Pet the doggy. Goodbye, doggy. I'm worried for my granddaughter and her kin. I was supposed to go back to Xishan, Quishan, even. If we're going with the theme that they're Spanish, then an X is actually pronounced. That's sort of H sound. Until the monster has showed up. How much longer are we gonna be trapped here? This ain't no place for. A girl to grow up. Kuro. Mm. Yeah, that makes sense. I've never met a witch before. Can you do a magic trick? Oh, I'm not a witch. My friend Miriam is, though. Can she do a magic trick? I feel like if she... If I ask her, she'll get mad. I'm so done with this place. 
Let's get out of here. I'm flying. <laughs> the squirrel to change its color too. Seriously? Okay. Oh, which is like. Well, Miriam is really grumpy all the time, but she's also really cool. One time she fought the hero. So sh Oh god, I'm getting all my voices mixed up mixed up here. So she's grumpy all the time and she fights the hero. I guess that's why everyone hates witches. Wait, that's not what I meant. Oh, okay. Air in the mouth. Yeah. Although I have seen people try to correct on the whole double L equaling Y. It's sort of like, it's more like an, it, it's equivalent to an IH. It is sort of like, as if that it makes any shot of difference in how you're going to ultimately pronounce it. Not to mention it was a Spanish teach teacher who told me that a double L is pronounced as a Y. Exactly! And when I say a Spanish teacher, I mean a, a teacher who is Spanish. Who is teaching Spanish? Come on, let's go! Oh, cool! Right. I did. It didn't quite do that. Right. I don't know. Choir pedantic will try to tell you black is white and all that sort of thing. <laughs> I forgot that joke. Oh, you. Oh, hey. Little B. Who's this? Oh, you know, just an old buddy. She's in cahoots with the hero. Cahoots, huh? Little B, I'm in cahoots with everyone. Um, f phrasing? You're all my special little buds. Don't trust the rainbow in this case. I don't pick favourites. I don't like her! What happened here? A big fight. Between Audrey and some monsters, I mean. Me and Audrey are still cool, huh? <laughs> it was crazy. <laughs> monsters were all like blah 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 rah. In order, it was all like swing, zap, kapow. She's just so cool. Yeah, Audrey. Um, it's, it's phrasing because you could construe that as meaning. Sh well, another way of saying that someone's in cahoots with someone is me is by saying they're in bed with. 
Um, and so my brain went about five steps ahead. She saved this city big time. I think now they're celebrating with her. Oh, great. So she's here. Now you all get to hang out more. I don't think I want to see her. She sucks! She's really not that bad. She's trying to help end the world! And she actively knows that she's helping to end the world. So, how you... This is... Oh, God. I don't want to get political, but there's certain comments that have been made in the past that this is putting me in mind of. <laughs> Once you get to know her, at least. But okay, I'm out. I was just zoning out but here. Didn't expect to see you. Um, but hey, good luck. Oh, the whole Earth Song thing. Expletive deleted, expletive deleted, expletive deleted. She didn't notice us. She definitely did. But she's being too cool to notice. <sighs> Jokes on her. While she's busy getting fawned on, we can go straight to the king. Deliver your silly message and then get a real head start on, on the quest. End of the world. Overseer song, remember? Sounds like a plan. Um, Miriam, have you not noticed yet how... Is that fox with antlers? Now it's a fox with antlers. Palace up this hill. Okay. Overall, the intention is to just establish a world that's um, drawing a lot of influences, but not a specific um, ethnicity in any particular area. Although, that said... Yeah, um, I, okay, so Shishan? Or Zhishan? Yeah, Zhishan. Because the XI is. And this is where we get into playing um, Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines and how I'm able to know that there's a particular character in that called Ming Zhao, and Zhao is X I A O. So, but I'm not doing that accent. <laughs> so instead, I'm going to defer to what you were suggesting, Scottish. Hello, 
Uh, hello. We're here to meet the king or whatever. And you go get him or something? Absolutely not. In case you hadn't heard, uh, and <clears throat> in case you hadn't noticed, we are at war. It's my sole duty to protect the king from harm. So we are not allowing anyone in or out at this time. Especially not any witches. Oh! This is where it turns out that that guard is the king. And it's got some. And we're doing some last unicorn stuff around here. That's ridiculous! Nobody! What about. What about you? You don't go in or out? Absolute. Obviously, we make some exceptions. We've invited the hero for a special visit. But unless you are of her caliber, no way, sister. Ah! Uh, of course it's her. However, you can feel free to enjoy the exquisite castle garden. Oh, sure. I'm gonna just ravish your stupid garden. Can't get enough. Maybe I'll eat all your stupid trees and flowers. If you want some roughage in your diet, Miriam, I'm sure go for it. Because they are so exquisite! <laughs> we should go, Miriam. Yeah, sure. <laughs> See, this is why I, I think that's part of why I went with the Terry Jones voice, because that's the only way I could really fully convey uh, that sort of level of grumpy. Can't believe this. What do we do now? Um, well, we could forget about your ghost message. Oh, we can't do that. It could end the war, Miriam. We can't quite yet. Can't quite yet. Can't quit yet. Maybe I should be wearing my glasses for this. Well, then we can talk to your good buddy, the hero. No, definitely not that either. Those are the choices. I think we should focus on finding the Overseer song. Um, Miriam, we need to have a talk about you missing the forest for the trees. Or missing the wood for the trees. Whatever. Whatever the phrase is. I was a bit of a metaphor, I think. But anyway. If you hadn't noticed, yeah. uh, if you hadn't noticed, every time we do something, we get towards finding the overseer song. We're about four in at this stage. It, we've got a pattern at this point. But you do you. And she just follow, following me around like a grumpy Pikachu. Those are some funny clothes. You aren't Chanjish, are you? Sorry, I'm military, so I'm supposed to ask. Don't really care. Oh, my. oh that's cool. Hey, I'm sitting here. You want something? I don't know why, but I feel worried almost all the time. Back. I wish I could just turn it off. Maybe it's the war, maybe not. Well, that's relatable. Relax at the Shui. Relax at the Zhishan Lodge. Be 
careful, chump. I am a kinder, the strongest in Shishan. Oh my gosh, you make your animal friend fight? Um, not really. It's just a game we play with the other kids. Ah, look who, how cute my kin is. Ain't he the greatest? It's taken me this long to register that kin is referring to the animals. I am slow. We can't tell. That's a heckin' long time. <laughs> it's enough to make an old gal a bit teary-eyed. And we have uh, someone in a... a Kikigurumi or something like that. Oh god, it's... Ah, um... Okay. Welcome to my humble caravan. I hope you'll buy something. I have all kinds of plants and pigs. Pigs? Pigs! Instead of bugs. Oh. I scavenged in the wilderness. Oh, I don't have any money. Oh, me neither. Nobody wants to do business with a panda. Ruru. Um, tough call to make. People in the city treat foreigners like a disease. It's cruel. I hate it. Yeah, I'd say all of the above. I came a long way to be safe from the war, but here I'm an outsider. And with monsters attacking us now, I guess it's not safe either. here oh well, yeah she's so cool i think she went to the lodge so she's staying here i want to meet her so bad oh god damn it i could have done a spanish voice there well maybe we'll meet dos you're not from around here are you I hate to say it, but your clothes are disgust disgusting. When's the last time you washed them? I don't know if have you been what to wearing that. Wow, oh, what a bitch! Good day, citizen. Everything in order. Seen anything or anyone suspicious in the city? Yeah, the hero. Don't hesitate to come to me if so. Even if it's someone you know, okay? The military's here to keep us all safe. Um, uh, Not saying it, but a cab. I like the hero. She's so cool. He's like the coolest, strongest girl in the whole world, but... Wow, well, I hear she's staying in the Shishan at the lodge. Like a normal person, so humble. Ugh.
I'm so grateful for my kin, Yoshi. He's a trusty friend. He keeps my lap nice and cozy too. Well, that's a how do you do? My friend's a communist. He holds meetings, but I can't afford to go to those. I don't have diddly squat, but it's not about having what you want. It's wanting what you got. Okay, Tyrone. I'm grateful to be alive here. I came from Lumber Town in the forest. Oh, I was there. Really? It's still there? I've been worried for them. Especially with monsters reaching the gate here. I thought... Well, good that they're okay. Ah. I think I am going to have to wrap it up in a few minutes. My wrist is actually starting to ache quite a bit. The Chandi shirt, crazy! Take it from me, youngster. I was married to one. They learn all kinds of wacko magic over there. Don't trust them. Don't interrupt me right now, I'm thinking. Hello. Are you interested in any potions? I made them all myself. The science behind it is very interesting. I source all of my ingredients from nature, and I apply knowledge from chemistry to make new concoctions. My potions are high quality. They produce consistent results. You should buy some. That sounds fun. I don't have any money, though. Ow. Um, yeah. I am going to call it there, as I've been going since... Yeah, I've been going since three, and my wrist is starting to ache, which is unusual for me, but... It happens. Um... I'll be uploading all the VODs... Um... And it's just saved it. Yeah, I'll be uploading all the VODs on YouTube, so if people wish to catch up on what's been going on, they'll all be there. I'll probably be splitting them up into sort of more bite-sized parts as I can find the good splits in them. But anyway, um... Thank you, those, for joining us. Um, probably be going live again same time next Wednesday. Um, catch you later, gal. Uh, yeah, there might be. I might be doing some other streams. It depends on various factors. I mean. Got some videos that I want to sort out, but we'll see. But anyway, that's it for today. Um, I will catch you all later. Uh, uh, and, uh, bye, everyone.